I'm never watching Brad Mondo videos before bed again. That got weird. Had a new low on the scale this morning. Good for me. In the process of testing out this bread thoroughly to do an honest review, I decided to make some French toast rather than my usual shake this morning. And I only made one slice, so I also had the eggs scrambled with it. Here's my outfit for the day. And here's lunch. That's Black Forest ham, Miracle Whip, mustard, and some cantaloupe on the side. Now remember, this bread is two net carbs per slice. I took this selfie in the back seat of my dad's pickup, and I have a whole long rant video called Car Shopping is a Pain and a Half, which explains my afternoon, so if you want to check that out, that's available. Well, it's 11.26, and I've had a long, long day, and uh, I'm a little surprised at myself that I was able to upload a rant video. Um, because it just would not have fit with my daily vlog kind of thing that I'm trying to do. And also finish getting what I felt I needed for footage for my next honest review, which is the bread review. That's, um, I've got everything. I had planned to upload it today, but I haven't edited it yet. I'm not going to push myself, not after the day I've had. I'm going to upload it tomorrow, probably. But then again, I was saying probably yesterday. So I guess I'll see what happens then. Um, yeah, it's been a long day. Started um, shopping for the next vehicle I'll be using. I didn't get my nails as done as I would like. I had planned to get into my nail stamping stuff again because when I said I wasn't ready to throw it out quite yet, um, I meant it. I've got some better results since that review and I'm going to uh, give it another shot. But basically, I took all my nail polish off, trimmed my nails, and then I was busy. Just busy. Um, dinner, which I didn't manage to get a picture of. What did I get for dinner? I think I may have put that in my rant. Um, I had, I had no idea what I wanted to eat for dinner, neither did my dad. So my mom made some chorizo. I had mine with um, some Parmesan wisps. I really needed some cheddar ones, um, and a slice of the low-carb bread that had been toasted and torn up. And, uh, of course, with fixings like queso and uh, sautéed mushrooms and onions. And, actually, is yeah, two types of queso and some sour cream. It's still low-carb. It's I'm still being very careful about this. I didn't quite make my calorie count. So I made myself a diet shake, which is the only one I've had today, which is good because considering a few days back I had three in one day just to keep my calories up. My, um, my calories today um, wound up being, I want to say 1,084 when they should be 1,189 every day. Uh, or at least that's the goal, but I got my little alert that I had um, made my calorie goal for the day, so I'm okay with that. Um, my main thing is I can't go under. I'm trying really hard to keep in mind weights and measurements and things, uh, with, which I'm not actually doing. Uh, I will I'll measure occasionally if I'm not 100% sure, but I've been cooking since I was about 9, so I'm pretty good at guessing weights and measurements and stuff. And I'm not out here trying to starve myself. I am still eating. I'm trying to eat regularly with regular meals and regular snacks. I didn't have any coffee today. Even though it turns out that the French toast that I made, um, and I, I did eat the rest of that egg that was used to make the French toast. It just looks weird and beige in the picture or sorry, video. Um, it was a lower ca um, calorie than one of my diet shakes, so I guess I could have done that and also had coffee. But I didn't. Um, I skipped the coffee because I didn't feel like I needed to warm up. So, because the food was warm. It has been a really long, weird day. It's going to be long and weird again tomorrow. Uh, something funny did come up. I guess you guys will have a laugh about this. The proverbial, you guys, since nobody's actually watching my videos yet, so I still feel like I can put whatever I want on here. I, I definitely have time to uh, delete it before I want to see it. So, 
in the shopping for a vehicle that would suit uh, the needs of myself and the kids, my dad asked me to write down things that um, I really, really needed a vehicle to be able to do. So, grocery runs, um, holding the camping gear for uh, scouting events, that sort of thing. Runs to the pharmacy, trips to church, you know, when everything is back to normal. And then things that would be nice to have, features and that sort of thing. And then, you know, the really doesn't really matter. Like, if the CD player doesn't work, it's not going to matter because I Bluetooth in anyway with a with an AM tra FM transmitter. Not important, right? Well, I wasn't even thinking. I my family has such a dry, macabre sense of humor. Don't take this the wrong way, but I was writing this down and because he asked me to. And this was all totally reasonable stuff, and I said I needed three bodies worth of cargo space. Um, this I did explain myself. Okay, I'm not just off the wall bizarre like that all the time, but I need roughly the size of a human being for the camping gear. I need roughly the size of a human being worth of space for my kids' school stuff because middle school backpacks are about 50 pounds. And I need roughly the size of a human being worth of space left over for picking up groceries, so I need three bodies worth of cargo space. Um, I also sent him a clip from The Simpsons on YouTube and he's pushed this video and like, I need this one. And it was the fake commercial for the Canyon Arrow. I almost made a crack about needing the lipstick holder, but I didn't think he'd get it without actually watching the episode recently. But, um, I don't know. We, we goof in this family. My kids have been fluent in sarcasm since the age of five. But it doesn't always work well, especially when it comes to, um, school. But, oh well. Alright, I'm turning in. Teeth the brush. My hair is doing what hair does. Skincare is done. Jamie's. I'm out. Thank you for sharing my day with me.